Good morning, Ricky. Cabins are moving fast for the Tom Joyner Foundation Fantastic Voyage, sailing 2023 on Royal Caribbean Cruise Line. Don't miss a boat. Go to FantasticVoyage2023.com today for details. Good morning, good morning, RSMS family. Here's your Monday morning headlines. Fourth and eighth graders fell behind in reading and had the largest ever decline in math, according to a national educational assessment showing the devastating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on America's children. U.S. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona suggested widespread teacher shortages are a symptom of decades of underinvestment in schools and called on districts to pay teachers more competitively. In COVID news, Pfizer will charge $110 to $130 per COVID-19 vaccine dose once the U.S. government stops buying the shots. The commercial pricing for adult doses could start as early as next year, depending on when the government decides to phase out its program of buying and distributing the, uh, the shots. No ticket matched all six numbers, y'all. Now the jackpot from Monday's Powerball drawing reached an estimated $610 million. If someone is lucky enough, yeah, to have all six numbers correct tonight, they'll take home one of the largest prizes in the lottery game's 30-year history. Lastly, Ricky, researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, unveiled a robot that can fold clothes faster than any other automation. The robot can fold around 30 to 40 randomly positioned clothing per hour. So you got a piece of clothing on a chair. So you, on just, the, uh-huh. you just drop them in there and they fold all the clothes. They fold all the clo- clothes. I swear that's what we need. Ooh, I need Mama that. Mama love him. Because I don't mind washing and drying, but I do not like folding Ooh, clothes. Oh, I hate it. Oh, they just... But I will wash and dry there. all day. I throw yep. them in the dryer, and then I put everything on the table next to the dryer. I don't... Yep. I, I just can't... I can't do it. Yeah, that'll be a game changer. I'm Maria Moore, and that's a quick look at news. Rock T, what's going on in sports? Well, the World Series is set, man. Houston Astros versus the Philadelphia Phillies. Yes, indeed, man. Shout out to Coach Baker out there doing his thing in H-Town. NFL recap, a couple of games to talk about, man. Uh, it's probably time to start worrying if you're a Tampa Bay Buccaneer fan. They uh, they lost to the Carolina Panthers 21-3. to Tom Brady, yes, he started and played the entire game at quarterback. No touchdowns for the Buccaneers. That's not like Tom Brady. That's not like the Buccaneers. So they three and four right now. Dallas Cowboys starting quarterback Dak Prescott is back in action. Dallas struggled in the first half versus the Detroit Lions, but finished strong to win the game 24 to 6. How about the Miami Dolphins? They got their quarterback back to a tag of Aloha. Uh, they got another yeah. win over Pittsburgh. It was an ugly dog fight, but they pulled it off. Tonight's Monday Night Football, Chicago. Chicago versus the New England Patriots. Little bad news for all New Orleans Pelicans fans, man. They lose both of their star players in the same game. Injury last night, Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram. I don't know how long they're going to be out, man, but uh, I was really getting excited what about this. Zion? I, he went up for a dunk. His shot got blocked, and he landed on his backside. So oh. I think it's like his lower back area. You know what I'm saying? So he he actually wanted to continue to play. He didn't want to come out the game, but they finally took him out, made him go back and get some x-rays. Uh, don't look now, but the Lakers are 0-3. Reeves looking, 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 finds LeBron. LeBron to tie the game. And the Lakers are 0-3 to start the year. Man, Russell Westbrook was benched late in the fourth quarter. Don't be surprised if this dude gets traded here real soon, and don't be surprised if he winds up back in Oklahoma City. That's that's kind of really? like I just my opinion, man. If you're gonna trade him, he's not. He still ain't getting along with the team allegedly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you ain't closing out the fourth quarter. They got to keep you on the bench. Just so uh, you know, Oklahoma City probably that's that's the spot that he shine. You know what I'm saying? So go on back yeah. there, make it happen. Kind of a reunion. That's all I got for sports right about now, right now. I'm trying to be positive about it. You know what I'm saying? So you real optimistic. Yeah, man. Like I, I just don't I just don't want to believe that Russell Westbrook is, is done. I mean, I don't this dude averaged a triple double he like just two need or to three. He needs to be on, on a good team where he can run like he usually runs. He's on a good team. Well, kinda sorta. Not at 0 and 3. Yeah, yeah. There it is, man.